Emily Johnson has to prick her fingers at least four times a day. Constantly checking her blood pressure and balancing her diet has become a meticulous routine. It's a lifestyle change and it's facing the reality that they have a disease that will never go away. Johnson is one of two and a half million Canadians living with diabetes. By the end of the decade, a report predicts numbers are expected to double, meaning one in three Canadians could develop a health-conscious schedule like Emily's. The study insists we find more ways to reduce the increase. Johnson has been a type 1 diabetic for the past 25 years. She says once you have diabetes, it's mainly about being healthy and staying that way. Preventing complications, that's always an underlying fear that I will get develop diabetes complications and that will affect my well-being and my health. Those are possibilities that could prove costly, but experts say they can also be avoided. Dialysis is, is very expensive, you know, patients uh, go and get uh, uh, dialyzed because of diabetes, they get heart attacks, they get strokes, so all that can be, if all that can be prevented, uh, you know, uh, the cost related to diabetes would be much less. $11.7 billion was the 2010 tab diabetes charged the healthcare system. By 2020, that number is expected to balloon to $16 billion. And as the Canadian Diabetes Association report shows, if enough prevention strategies aren't taken now, Canada's healthcare system could be threatened. Healthy lifestyle, healthy eating, exercise, and be in an ideal weight. If you do that, then the risk of getting type 2 diabetes is less. Yvonne Raymond, Chat News.